Hello everyone, welcome to ENG 202 Unit 10 Trends. Today we'll focus on writing a report describing a chart. Before we start, you need to prepare your course book, your notebook, your stationery, and your dictionary. The objectives of the lesson today, number one, review some vocabulary to describe changes and trends. Number two, extract specific information from a reading text. Number three, write a short report on trends. Before you start writing a description of a chart, this is an example of types of charts. So number one is done for you. This is a bar chart. I want you to match the rest of the types to its chart. Okay, remember that there is, a, there is an additional chart that I want you to guess. You have two minutes, try to label the charts and then I'll show you the answers. Let's check your answers. So as we said before, chart number one is a bar chart, number two, a table, number three, pie chart. What do you think of chart number four? Yeah, it's an area chart. Number five, line chart, and the last chart we call it a flow chart. Now, you have a number of verbs that describe trends. I want you to classify them into five categories. Number one is done for you. This is increase. Okay. I want you to do the rest within two minutes.
All right, let's check your answers. First column, increase, rise, grow, go up. Second column, drop. Third column, decline, fall, decrease. The fourth column, level off, stabilize, remain stable, and the last one is peak. Now, I need you to check your dictionaries for the words that you don't know on, in the box. Now, the question is, describe each of the graphs below using an adjective from the box or a noun from exercise 7a, page 105. You have two minutes, and then we'll check your answers. Let's check your answers together. Yeah, here are the model answers. So we'll go through one by one and I'll clarify each idea or each arrow and then I'll read the sentences or the words. Chart number one. Now, before you start answering each chart or describing each chart, I want you to notice the arrow, the direction of the arrow or the trend. Now, here is a slow decline, or a steady decline, or a gradual decline. Chart number two, as you can see, there is a, sh a sharp drop. Can you see the arrow? So, a dramatic drop, sharp drop, or a sudden drop. Chart number three, as you can see, the arrow is up and it's a sharp increase. So you can say dramatic, significant, sharp, or a sudden increase. Chart number four, as you can see, that's a significant decline or decrease. Chart number five, that's a gradual, as you can see from the arrow or the trend, steady increase or slow increase, gradual and slight as well. Last one, as you can see, level off or the arrow remains stable. We are done with the types of charts and the verbs of trends. Now, here is a chart in front of you. 
I want you to answer a list of questions. Question number one, what type of chart is it? What do you think? Is it a pie chart, a line chart, or a bar chart? Number two, what is the title of this chart? Question number three, what other information can you see? So I'll give you one minute, try to, ans to answer all of the questions, and then I'll show you the model answer. Here are the answers. So number one, it is a bar chart. Number two, the title of the chart is the student's daily routine between February and June. Number three, what other information can you see? The x-axis and the y-axis. Here is a sample of a report describing the previously shown chart. I want you to read the report again and then try to reorder or match the headings with the paragraphs. You have two minutes. Yes, let's check your answers. So, paragraph one refers to the introduction in which you introduce the topic of the chart. And then you can focus on the x-axis and the y-axis as well. As you can see, this bar chart gives information about x-axis, y-axis. Paragraph number two describes the general trends using numbers and percentages from the chart itself. For example, 40% of students sharp drop. 
last paragraph, which is a summary of the main and significant trends, the highest share overall and the lowest share as well. So in writing a report, you can, you can write three paragraphs or you can expand the ideas of the body into two different and separate paragraphs. These are the tips for writing a report describing a chart. Let's read it together. Number one, the introduction should be short. It may simply refer to what the chart shows and where and when it describes. Number two, avoid repeating words or verbs and instead use other words with the same or similar meanings. Number three, in the body, describe the trends that you can see, use numbers from the chart. Number four, to sum up, highlight the most important trends, for example, the highest and the lowest, biggest and smallest. Okay, here is a writing sample that you can follow in order to describe a chart. As we, as we decided before, these are three paragraphs. Paragraph number one, introduction, you focus on the topic of the chart. Paragraph two, the body, you describe the trends generally using numbers and percentages. Last paragraph is the conclusion in which you summarize the main trends and please be, keep in mind, don't use numbers or percentages. Here is a question. Look at the chart showing trends in cars among university male students. Write a description of the trends the chart shows. So as you can see, this is a bar chart. I want you to follow the layout, use the verbs of trends, and try to describe the chart in three paragraphs. I hope that the lesson was clear to you. Thank you for watching.